Hello and welcome back to this course. So before learning about the periodic view, I want to introduce a new concept that is comparator interface. So comparator interface is used to order the object of the user defined class. A comparator object is capable of comparing two objects of two different types. Now from this definition, you can simply analyze that comparator interface is used to order the objects of the user defined class. When we'll discuss about the priority DQ class, we will use a comparator there. So that's why I feel that you must know about what, what is comparator. So that's why I created this video uh, to have better understanding how comparator interface works. So without wasting our time, let's create a code on the net means that how comparator interface works basically. So here, first of all, I am going to create a class. I type here class student. And in this class, I am going to create uh, private int roll number and private string name okay and I'm going to create a constructor here so constructor and I type here public student int roll number string name and the constructor I'm going to type here this dot roll number equals to roll number and this dot name equals to name okay and also I'm going to create a method here I type here public string to string and in this method I'm going to type here return and I simply return this dot roll number oops roll number and i also concatenate it with the space like this and i concatenate this dot name like this okay also add two three spaces here like this okay so after that i am going to create another class that use the comparator interface so i type here uh, class sort by roll number sort by roll number like this and it implements it implements the comparator uh, so I type here student because I've written the class of the student here and first of all I have to import the comparator and after that I have to implement the abstract methods like this which is the compare method now compare method is present inside the compare comparator interface so that's why we have to override this method so I simply remove this line from here right now and I also change here the name from O1 to S basically S1 and S2 and I return S1 dot roll number minus S2 dot a roll number like this okay so okay so we have to create the getter and setters but for this video i'm going to remove the private from here you can create the getters for these variables so in this way we have also created the sort by roll number class and now i'm going to create another class with the name class sort by name like this and it also implements the comparator and I type here student like this okay so student okay okay sort by name is not abstract I implement all the abstract method which is the compare and in the compare method i am simply going to type here return and i type also i change it to s1 s2 to have a breathing room s1 and s2 so i type here s1 and s2 and then return s1 dot 
name and I compare it with to compare to I type here as two dot name okay so now I go to my main method and I am going to type here uh, the array list basically I use the array list here so I type here array list array list and I also use the student here because I want to create the array list of student type and I type here stu equals to new array list I also type here student and uh, like this okay I import the array list class in my program and now I'm going to add some data in the array list I type here stu dot add and in the add I have to pass a student type value so I type here new student and the constructor I have to pass the roll number and the name so I pass the one 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 and in the name I pass here and I type here some uh, you can say AAA because I want to show you the sorting using the comparator so that's why I type here AAA and stu dot add new student and two 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 comma b b b b b and stu dot add new student and I type here three 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 and in the string I type here h h h h h and I also add one more student dot add new student and it 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 and the string I type here z z z z okay so now I have added some elements to the array uh, array list basically so now I am going to print the values so I type here system dot out dot print ln and I print a statement for here this array list is unsorted basically for int i equals to 0 i less than uh, size basically stu dot size and i plus plus and now in the body of the for loop i am going to type a statement i simply type here system dot out dot print ln i type here stu dot get and i type here i like this okay so now i am going to sort the uh, array list so i type here collections dot sort and in the sort i am going to type here er and in the second argument i just type here comparator you can see here uh, list i have passed a list which is the array list then i have to give the comparator here so i type here new sort by roll number by roll number we have i have give the sort by roll number because sort by roll number has implements the comparator interface so that's why we ha i have type here sort by roll number okay so i also type here the constructor like this okay okay so i just type here stu okay now i am going to start another for loop here i type here system dot out dot print ln and i type here uh, this slash and slash and two times and i type here uh, array list after sorting by row number like this and for int i equals to zero i less than stu dot size oops dot size okay and then i plus plus and now in the body of the for loop i'm going to type a statement here i simply type here system 
dot out dot print ln and I type here stu dot get and type here i like this okay and now if I run my program uh, you will see here first of all this array list is unsorted you can see this is unsorted okay so I first just uh, add it randomly I cut it from here and paste it at first also I move this z from here and it add second time like this okay so now if I run my program you will see they are added uh, this is unsorted you can see 3 3 is first then 1 1 then 8 8 then 2 2 and, and same for the name but after that array list after sorting by roll number you can see first of all 1 1 1 then a then 2 2 2 and then simply for b and then 3 3 3 and then 8 8 8 you can see this array li list is now sorted by using the comparator interface okay so now if i just type here just after this line i type here collections dot sort and i type here stu and new sort by name like this and after that i am going to type here system dot out dot print ln and i type here Slashing, 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 sorted by name. Okay. And I type here for int i equals to zero. I less than stu dot size and i plus plus. And in the body of the for loop, I'm going to type here system dot out dot print ln. And I type here stu dot get and I type here the index which is the i and I simply when I run this program you will see the first of all unordered array list then you will see array list after sorting uh, using by using the roll number and after that uh, by using the name so in this way we can use the comparator interface to sort our elements in the uh, basically collection you can see here First of all, I have just created the class with name student where two variables, so number and name, in the constructor. Then we have created the method to string, and after that, we have created the class with the name sort by roll number, and we just implement the comparator interface, and we have override the compare method. In the same way, we have created the class with the name sort by name, which also implements the comparator interface, and in this class, we have also override the compare method. Uh, so in the main method first of all I created the array list of student type and add some records in it randomly first of all I print the unsorted array array list then I just sort them by the roll number and print the array list and then I sort them by using the name and then print it on the uh, console then you can see that how we can um, sort the elements by using the comparator interface so I hope that you understand about the comparator interface we will use the comparator inter interface in our next video when, when we will discuss about the priority queue. So that's why we have to keep this concept in your mind. So I hope that you understand. That's it for this video. I will see you in next video.